All right, fellas, welcome back. So the other day, I was out in the car, right? And I was driving along, I paint the car, so I had my coffee. And I noticed the temperature gauge was in the red. So I literally knocked the engine off straight away. And I rang a lad from work, and he came and brought some water. And I managed to get home. But when I got home, I noticed the radiator's leaking. So what I done was, I went on I was going to buy, like, a, a Mishimoto radiator, like an aluminium one. But I thought I'd ask on Facebook before I bought it. And everyone was saying, generally everyone was saying, just put a standard one back on, just didn't bother with the aluminium ones. And plus, a couple of people said that I'd bother with a cap. So, what I've got, right, I've got a standard radiator, and a bag full of coolant. So we're just gonna, hopefully, I think it's a radiator, fingers crossed, I think it's a radiator. I had a look when I got back, it looked like the steam was coming from that kind of general area. So we'll uh, get cracked and we'll whip the radiator off there. I'm getting chills, but you tell me you're not sure. It's been quite frosty lately, so I don't know if that's what made what made the radiator pop. Because obviously frost kills like engines and radiators, doesn't it? When I broke down in the car, there was literally no water in these pipes. We've got some in there, but like all this was empty. But the leak seems to be coming from like down this way. It was just like a little nozzle of steam. Look, there's bits of radiator down here. You see it, look, on the bottom. Like this. Bit of the radiator. I should have probably opened this at the start, but we'll have a look at the new one and we'll see what we need to swap over. See some of the damage on the old one, look. See, look, all the fins are all bent and knackered aren't there? I don't know if that's off me ripping it out, I don't think it is. I just don't think it is. Wouldn't even know where to leak them from, I think it's one of these bars. Right, we'll swap all the bits over. Take that off there. Goes in there. There we go, job's a peach. Does anyone want a radiator with a hole in? Somewhere. I hope, I hope it's this radiator here. I could be wrong. It could be like something totally different. To put the new radiator in. I'll be honest, it hasn't been as bad as I thought. My hands are a bit cold, like it's like three or four degrees today. Getting there, man, we're getting there. I took a big like under under tree off. I don't know where they put back on because it just looks like a bit of a rust trap, do you know what I mean? Like it's all full of like cloth and that. What would you do? People must know out there, people, you guys must have done this before. Love this car, you know, honestly I do. I think when I get me, if I get a garage, I might do a full re like restoration underneath it, like what I've done on the Sierra. Put this on, then we'll put some coolant in. Wasn't a bad job, wasn't a bad job. Oh, should I put some socks on like my toes are cold? I think we're nearly done. I think we're nearly done. Right, I think, oh, last thing to go on is the expansion bottle thing. I think I've done this spot on. I don't think I've missed anything. Let's have a little look about. Then we are done. Bit coolant. Right, I'll let the car down off the jack, then we'll put some coolant in. We'll uh, start it up. I'm going to leave this off for now. It just looks like it trapped mud. Do you know what I mean? Like all the, that's all touching the bodywork. It's just full of mud, so. I mean, surely that just causes rust. Let us know what you fellas do. If you leave that, like, if, if you've got a Subaru, let us know if that's on yours or not. I'll keep it, I'll put it back on if it's recommended. But for now, I'm going to leave it off. Let's have a look, let's have a look. This is concentrated, superior quality. 
For general UK conditions, this is to use three parts water to one part coolant. So I'll put one of these in, then I'll fill this up three times, and we'll go from there. What I'll do is I'll fill it up as much as I can before I start the engine. Then we'll let it all pump around, get hot, put the heaters on. You know what to do, you know what to do. We'll start with the radiator, see if we've got any leaks. Bonnie, how colour this mind, isn't it? The bonnie colour. Right, so that's one full one of them, so I'll fill this up three times. Then that's me 25% uh, mix, isn't it? Right, I'll be two minutes, I'll go and fill this up. First bit of water. Get another one of these. Going get another one. Right, so that's a full coolant one and three water. So I'll just do like a little mix in a bottle. We'll just carry on doing that for the rest. We must be nearly done. Do about 25%. So we'll fill up with water. Right, hopefully this will be the last one. This is like five litres. This, well, this will be the fifth litre. I think we're going to need another one here. Right, I'll make another one of these. Sixth litre. Oh, we're there. Put this back on. Then there's just like a little expansion tank thing here or some an overflow tank or something. We'll just put some in there. Oh, we need more. Oh no, maybe we don't, maybe we don't. Right, I think we're near enough there. I'm going to start it up and we'll uh, let, it, let it sort itself out. Hopefully, well let's see, well we will see some steam won't look to be messing with the radiator, but hopefully it'll uh, stop steaming when it gets hot. Let's fire it up, let's fire it up. Isn't any leaks, I've had a look underneath. I'll go and make a cup out of it, two seconds, we'll, we'll come back and check it. I didn't have any clean spoons, so I just used a spork. I'll go and see how the car's doing. How's it doing, all right? Any steam? I'll check the temperature. It's up the temperature. We'll knock the fans on. That's blown warm. We'll wait for the fans to kick in on the engine. It's starting to get a little bit steam now, but that'll just be like the, the water, what we've dripped, like just burning off a bit. I hope anyway. I think what I'm going to do is, obviously I'm minging up being under the car. I'll go in and I'll get a wash. Now I'll pump it out, we'll, we'll go for a little drive, we'll just see how it's doing. Kind of bit of steam coming off it there though. I'm not worried though, that'll just be the stuff burning off that. Worst bit now, man, tied up all the shite I've had out. storage around there, out of sight, out of mind. Let us know if you would uh, take that off or if you keep it on. Heaters are still growing nice and hot and the engine temperature is still perfect. Still steam coming off but I'm not worried man, didn't worry, I'm not. Right, I'm just waiting for the fans to kick in. Once the fans have kicked in, I'm going to go and get a shower and I'll, we'll, uh, we'll take it out for a drive. I'm not going out like this, I'm absolutely minging off line on my back under the car. fellas when the radiator went well I think it's a radiator everything seems to be working fine now the climate control and everything's working that went off for a little bit but like I see it when the radiator went when I noticed the temperature it was literally in the red but when I turned the engine off it came like the temperature came down within 20 seconds to like normal temperature 
so I think I probably just caught it before it done damage fingers crossed still pulls all right <laughs> before I go any further though can I just say a huge thanks to Hampson Auctions for sponsoring my channel and helping me bring you videos Hampson Auctions are like a they're an auction house in the UK if you've got like a an interesting car or a rare car drop them a message if you want to sell it because literally if you sell it with Hampson Auctions you literally get 100% of the hammer price they don't take any money off you for selling the car I'll leave a link to their website and social media below check it out now the car fails as it was I think I've got lucky I don't think I've done any damage if we have done some damage then we'll build a new engine won't we? or someone else will I'm not confident enough to build an engine like if you've got a servo and you've put one of the Mishimoto radiators on let us know how you got on with it because literally like most people were saying just put a standard radiator back on so obviously that's what I've done but I would have bought a Mishimoto one but people did say they had trouble with the caps and if I'm spending like double the price on an aluminium radiator I didn't want it to be messing about you know what I mean I just wanted it to work anyway fellas thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe uh, I'll leave a link to my Instagram below if you want to check that out and I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next one see ya